I mean, focus on what you're doing right now in this moment. And this moment is the best moment. The future is going to happen. And the past already happened. But to be present and to just follow your passion. Um, I think I've, I, for a while, I was kind of in limbo to be like, well, I need to get my degree in this and do that. But I really do want to strive for the Olympics. I don't know what to do. And I was kind of like balancing. But to just to really focus on and enjoy like and embrace actually what you're doing and allow yourself to fall in love with it. Because I, I truly do love what I do. And um, but yeah, just to embrace it and be full force in it. Yeah. yeah. I think, I mean, this may seem cliche with how everything's gone, but after my injury and then especially with this year, I think the most important thing that I've learned is just to be present and to just enjoy the little things. And I think that's something that we've all been taught this year, which is great. And just to continue that um, awareness moving forward. And, you know, if it was a little kid, uh, I was all over the place. It was like, surf surf in the morning go to water polo practice rush to surfing it again go to water polo practice like my schedule is insane and just every once in a while I'll take a breath and make sure you're in the present uh you know essentially living the dream take my time yeah that's good. definitely take my time um pretty much the same thing that I uh, pretty much the same thing that I, I just mentioned is is pretty much um you know, taking my time and understanding that I need to be educated first before I just, you know, jump into a lot of things. Because um, I think I said this uh, on another podcast is, you know, when you're driving and you see the potholes, you're avoiding them, you know, but when you're, you know, first time being a sports agent, there's a lot of things you don't see. So you're hitting all these potholes and your car is just rattling, like it's about to fall apart because you're running into so many things that you didn't know that was there. Um, so I would definitely say take my time and, and be educated. I think I think one of my biggest pieces of advice that's been like my saving grace and probably one of my biggest fault is just stubbornness, like not letting the bad things actually, you know, you can be upset or sad for a while. I've had a lot of actually tragedy, but I've, I've definitely had my, my valleys to my peaks and I just refused unwilling to let anybody keep me in those valleys or say that I couldn't play or that I wasn't good enough and I was kind of going to show them that I was and I've probably put myself in situations that I shouldn't have and I could have moved on or something but I was going to prove to people that they couldn't decide my fate that I was going to decide it myself and in some ways I think that's been great so I would definitely um, especially for females that are trying to play a certain sport if people are telling you you can't or you shouldn't if that's what you want to be doing then do it don't let anybody stop you or tell you you can't just find a way through the wall like go over it, go around it, break through it. Doesn't matter how you get to the other side, but get to the other side if that's where you want to be. And it's probably the same for, for male players too. Um, I'd also say take responsibility though. Like take responsibility for what you're doing. If you're not getting to the other side, figure out why. If, if, it's, if it's honest and try to be honest, is it you? Are you not doing what you're supposed to be? Are you not paying attention to what you're eating, what you're drinking, what you're, your rest, all these different things? Um, those are really important to, to figure out and to take responsibility, whether it's you or whether it's the outside world stopping you.